Hey everybody, in a previous video, I modeled a sort of old fashioned cassette recorder and people seem to like it and I had a lot of fun doing it. And so I um, decided I was going to do some sort of along the same lines of it, but I was thinking about uh, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise, um, James Bond, that kind of stuff and I uh, decided I would do uh, sort of like an old-fashioned handheld cassette recorder that maybe he'd go and you know get a little tape and listen to that and then it would you know self-destruct after five seconds that kind of thing uh, something that wasn't very hard to model um, but that would still be fun to do and so this is what I, I came up with all right so this is a, an, an image of the final little recorder that I'm going to show you how I model. I'm going to try to model again. All right. Um, and so on the front, there's like a little cassette kind of thing with a little cover and I guess a speaker or whatever and some buttons on the side and some design elements. And then on the back, there is a like a battery compartment and some bolts, whatever that would hold the, the parts together and you know to show you some of the some of the detail you know we'll work on making like this which looks a little bit more like film uh, uh reels or whatever um so maybe this could be a, a, some kind of a video player but of course you have to plug in an external monitor because there's no screen all right and uh yeah just various images and then uh, uh what i'll do is uh sort of look at some of these to try to remember how I how I modeled it. So I've got the various um, positions, front, left, and that kind of thing. Okay, and that's sort of a perspective view of, of, of what I'm gonna be going for. All right, so that's what I'm going to be modeling, so stick around for that. All right, so before I get started, I gotta say that I probably look like crap. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um, as I've said in some of my other videos, I've got a baby daughter while she's four months uh, it's just me and my wife we're out here in New Brunswick by ourselves and so it's all on us and three dogs I'm a retired school teacher uh, but I did 25 years and I, I just had a baby and I, I never had time to really relax and so um, I'm it's late at night and I'm going to be uh, back on my shift with the baby in a couple hours you know everybody says you know when the baby sleeps you should sleep but some of you may know that um, I'm a musician as well and uh, I can't stop I just can't uh, this is the only chance I get to uh, you know explore my hobbies and so I'd rather do that than sleep so I'm gonna go um, a little bit quick through this and I may not do every little bit of detail um, but just to get the, the basics down uh, the purpose of this video is not to uh, proclaim myself as some kind of blender expert because I'm far from that. It's more to just record my progress and um, to be able to go back and, and watch it and, and remember how to do certain things uh, because I am uh, somewhat new to blender and not that advanced but uh, I'm gonna have some fun trying to do this all right and we'll have to stop for coffee along the way so here we go um yeah so this is what we're going to do right so uh let me just see if i can find um a picture just of the front view i probably already got that one open okay so i'm going to create this this front face and then i'm going to probably copy it or, or do something like that uh, to make the back face and do some of the major components as quickly as i can uh, one thing i want to note is that there's a greater curvature here than over there so I want to remember that all right so I'm in front view here and I'm going to go shift a at a plane rotate X and 90 and uh, right off the bat let's uh, get rid of the the grid floor um, which we don't see right now but um, let's add a madcap material and let's just go for that standard one that I'm I'd sort of always use so I'm going to scale it in the Z and uh, maybe a bit, a bit in the X, you know, something like that, right? Okay, uh, maybe a little bit more in the X, I don't know. So what am I doing here? Okay, I'm going to go into edit mode. Oh yeah, I got my screen 
keys there so you can watch that e to extrude and I'm going to pull this out a little ways okay go back into object mode and object apply scale I will learn the shortcut for that okay so this side is going to be curved more than that side so I always do my verticals first uh, let's see, I just want to move the microphone a bit out of the way there um, so I'm going to grab that edge and this edge I have the other one? Yep. and uh, I'm going to look front view I think I'm going to do this in wireframe control B and I'm going to pull back and I, I don't have a, I'm not using a reference image for this I'm just going to give it a big a big curve okay <laughs> maybe more than the other one uh, okay those two edges now back in the front view control B and I'm just going to bevel it like that okay so I'm just going control B and and I'm pulling back with my mouse to, to get the curve and then I'm rolling my mouse wheel up to add segments so that's what I'm, I'm going to get um, it's debatable if that's a little bit too thick let's get out of wireframe and have a look I don't know I can always adjust this stuff later uh, let's try um, I think I just I do want to yeah I got two copies of that so I don't need to so come on back um, and look at that one okay yeah so I want that front piece a little bit thinner I think so I'm gonna scale it in the Y a little bit like that and um, I want to bevel this edge here and I think I bevel all of it and then I just copy it I think that's what I'm going to do so let's just let's, let's give that a try so I'm going to grab that edge and that edge okay control B pull back and uh, if I click then I can see on the side you know the segments I can I can do it here if I want or I believe I can hit F6 and I can do it or I can just scroll my mouse wheel well I could at that point so let's get rid of that control B I see I got that set on one now control B oops that's fine two I'm gonna go with uh, two is good enough okay just a little bit of a curvature to that thing there and then I'm going to go shift D I'm going to bring out another copy of this I'm going to go scale on the Y and I want to make that thicker that back piece quite the storm developing outside so see how it goes all right so those are my pieces right there and that's fine so I'm just going to go ahead and start saving I don't know if you can hear the wind in the back there okay um, I think maybe I'll, I'll uh, do this part right now and so I'll do about a third for this section and two-thirds for that section so that my cassette area might actually end up being a little bit smaller in this one here um, let's get a sense of this I'm going to hide the back layer there and look in front view um, I'm going to be uh, going into edit mode again and I'll go you know whatever somewhere around there um, okay well I can move this so I'm going to use the knife tool and I'm just going to start Actually, no, I'm not going to use the knife tool. I take that back. I am going to try to, to use the bisect tool, which I had never really used before. I believe I have to select the whole thing. Bisect. And cut through like that. And while I still have it all selected, I'm going to go uh, scale Z zero to, to straighten it out. Okay, so 
Does that look like it's in a decent spot? I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to select that entire line and I want to go Control B and that is actually already put in that one line because I had that from before and that's what I want. Okay, make that add it to one and then I can scroll my mouse wheel up. Uh, let's not do that. I've got it selected, Control B pull back, roll my mouse up one, I just want to reset at that, and nice and close, I don't know if that's good enough, okay, so now I've got that all the way around, so now I'm going to grab that middle one, I'm, I'm doing a shift, alt, and clicking on it, so I get all the way around, and what I'm going to do, I think i got to do this, do it individually, so I'm going to scale, so I'm going to scale in the X, and pull in a certain amount, I'll try that, and then I'm going to scale in the Y and pull in as well. Now let's just get a sense of what that looks like. You know, it gives an indi indication that it's two pieces. Um, what I could potentially do is I could grab this one and this one. And let's see what happens if I go sh uh, sh uh, scale in the Z and pull them clo a little bit closer together. My make it a little bit of a nicer a sharper kind of a division okay um, okay I hope that's okay um, now for the holes I may not get the same amount do I want do I care how many there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen all right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can do that. So I'm gonna uh, select this face and go Shift S, cursor to selected, um, and uh, origin geometry. So I will get my my new my next object to come in. You know, at least very very close to where where I need it. So I'm going to bring in a circle, and I'm going to rotate X ninety. Scale it, and this is going to blow my poly count right here. I don't care though. Okay, let's go in and fill it. E to extrude, and I just need some some thickness uh, so that I can uh, indent. Okay, that might be actually too big. This can all be adjusted right in my front view. Okay, so it's indented there. All right, let's do rotation and scale. And let's add an array. And try that. Let's try 18. It doesn't seem like very much, although I guess we gotta center it, relatively center it anyhow. Okay, and what, how many rows? I want to move this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four. So it doesn't have to be exact amount. So I'm going to add another array, and uh, this is going to be in the Z direction. Uh, so get rid of the zero. Get rid of that. Make it zero. One. Uh, actually, minus minus one. Um, a little bit more than that. Okay, and I think I said twenty-four. And let's see if that's going to fit. Okay, that's so that's not going to fit. So I'm going to start knocking it back. Okay, even even if I did something like that, that would be fine. Okay, so let's say it was going to be that. I'm going to apply this one and apply that one, and then I'm going to go in and get rid of a little bit. Get rid of this one. 
and this one, and this one, I believe. Yeah, just like that. I better save. This is always a tough, tough on my computer. So I'm going to do a Boolean with that. So I'm going to go select my uh, body of the model. Difference. Ready? Choose the circle. Give it time. It's not ready. See, not responding. There, okay. Now apply. Give it time. Wait for the button to go back. All right. Hide those, and it's done. Bring those back. Get rid of them. I never want to see those again. Save it. All right. So we're doing okay. I don't. It made me a little bit off center, but it kind of bugs me a little bit. I don't know if I want to put double seven right there. I don't know. This is gonna it's gonna bug me. And I'm not I'm not gonna get it perfectly in center, but I just wanted a little bit more. Alright, sorry about that. So let's do it again with the circles. Okay. Apply. I think the thunder's coming, in which case my dogs will start freaking out. Yeah, there they are. Let's get rid of that. That's it. Go back to sleep, please. <laughs> All right, so that's done. All right, let's go ahead and add uh, the text. Rotate X90, rotate Y90 minus, scale it down, come over here, choose center, So let's go Alt H and bring that back. Just have a little, quick look at where we're at. It's a start. Got a long way to go though. Okay, so I'd better lay this out. So I've done the similar thing where I've got a. I start with a plane, and I I rounded the bottom here more there is this always 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 if i can a slight bevel or rounding but more there so i'm going to see if i can uh, sketch that out now this so will come in here select this and uh shift a cursor is selected let's check something here make sure I'm Okay, good enough. 
day and bring in a plane rotate X to the 90 nothing is centered up for me today just get a sense of like overall uh, dimensions it's pretty narrow It's got to be more narrow than that. Layout doesn't have to be exactly the same. All right, so extrude. And I'm going to be using this actually to uh, dig back into uh, both well into this part and it could go into that part but i'll just i'll just do it nice and big okay so object apply scale and i want to grab this corner and do a big bevel right like you know like that and then i want to grab the other corners and do a smaller bevel so Control b pull on the mouse Give it a few segments. Let's see if that did the job, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it did. Um, I don't need to round any of these corners right yet, so I'm going to now just plunge this in. And I'll probably go all the way through this and then touch this. I don't know if I'll, if I'll dig into this as well. well. We'll see. Let's save it before I do anything. Select this part and come over to Boolean, Difference, and choose my cutting tool, which is that. We'll give it some time. Well, I guess it's already done. All right. Hide that. And, you know, I'll just fit in a narrow cassette in there. Because that, I'm sure, is all the way through that. Yeah. You know, it's debatable if I want to also dig into this. I'm going to have the space. Maybe I'll give it a try. I didn't do that before, I don't think. I'll give it a try, and we'll see if this is beneficial, or if it's going to, you know, cause a problem with anything else I'm going to do later. Um, so let's see if I if I hide that. Okay. Well, it gives me a bit more depth, though, doesn't it? Now I want to keep this piece. I'm going to scale it in the Y. I'll use this as the cover, but for the moment I want to hide that because I want to try to bevel this edge. Now I'm not going to do that on the bottom piece as well. I'm just going to try to grab this whole edge and see if I get it. If I get it in two or three, it usually means I'm going to be able to bevel it properly. Control B, pull back. Yeah, it's looking good. Pull back a bit, give it two segments and come out. And that will round this a little bit, catch a bit of light and look a little bit more natural. Uh, let's come back to this piece now, and um, that one is also going to be round, uh, rounded, uh, so I might as well just go ahead and do that. Uh, no, not that. Come into this guy, select that top face, control B, pull back. Uh, no, it's not, it's not working, so I'm coming out of that because I need to apply scale. I don't think I need to apply rotation. Let's try again. That's better. We'll give it maybe just one segment. Okay. Now, it still might be too thick. Uh, let me just check out what we need to do. So, it's going to be like this. Because I may angle it out, I think I'll bevel the bottom piece as well. Um, under here that right there. I probably should have done both of them at the same time. I'll just bevel this a little bit. One, two, doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's that piece doesn't look too bad. And that of course is gonna, you know, would fit in there. You know, that looks good. Um, but now what I need to do is to do a cutaway. So just to a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, you know, or a plane of the woods. So let's just keep that thing selected, cursor selected. 
bring in a plane, rotate x90, uh, scale it in the x, bring it out. Okay, so scale it in the x again. I'm gonna kind of center it out and see what that's gonna be like. If I bring that to there. I'll go ahead and uh, uh, I want to cut right through, so I need a nice big thick piece. Object, apply, rotation, and scale, it doesn't matter if I... Um, I'm not going to be able to match the curvatures, which might be important to some people. Uh, I'm just going to curve it like this. All right, I'm going to push it through here. And yeah, that's not what I want. I don't want it centered. I want it sort of like that. That's okay if it's a little bit different, okay? But I don't, I don't want it perfectly in the middle. All right, let's give it a try. Boolean difference, that guy, apply, hide, and we've cut through, but we need to try, if we can, to round out that, and really we need to round out the, uh, the back side too. Get it all, yeah. See if I can do both of them at once. I'll go nuts. Just one segment would be enough for me. Although I prefer to. But that's okay. So that would come in and that would be the lid to this. <laughs> stuff <laughs> what do you think well, I mean, it looks it's cute yeah, it looks all right I guess somewhat all right so far okay so what are we gonna do on this we're gonna do those little things and we're gonna do a little handle on it all right so let's just bring in a cube scale it way down bring it over For this, I would just add the bevel, maybe two segments, and that would be it. Um, just doesn't seem centered to me. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it anyhow, though. Uh, was it like the right thing? Yeah. Oh, did I have to apply that bevel first? losing I don't know maybe I did that can't be the middle that can't be the middle sorry about this I, I it's I'm not you know like per really organized and really exact in anything I do pretty close you see absolutely not the middle absolutely not the middle what the hell is different than that curve so okay so I'm just gonna eyeball it and uh, and leave it at that now has that got the bevel on it yeah okay that's good it's gonna be good enough you know, better than it was anyhow okay so uh, now what we'll do is we'll I guess we'll uh, do something here
pouring rain out, but they gotta go pee. Otherwise, I'll do it on my on my carpet here, right? So uh, I'll take a break in a bit, and we'll we'll try that. We'll see. I can go out with an umbrella, but they can't. So. Where did I put this before? Yeah, I left myself more room. This is a different little cassette deck than the one that I made ever so slightly. Uh, vertex mode, come here, box select all these ones, leave the horizontal one there. Select, um, shift D, uh, what am I doing? Um, rotate Y 180 and pull it out a distance, certain distance. Connect those and make a face. Connect those and make a face. Deselect, select it all, make a face for the whole thing. Extrude, we're just using this to punch holes. Uh, control N to flip my normals or recalculate the normals. Okay, let's make this a bit smaller. And origin geometry. Let's try pushing that in there and just seeing whereabouts it's located. Okay. All right, now, how about try to mirror with mirror that? Okay, we could try that. Um, the camera. Um, mirror Z choosing this. No, no, we're not going to have that happen, are we? Oh, that's all weird. Okay, forget it. Shift D, we're going to do things the old fashioned way. join them together to do a boolean let me just make sure that we I don't know I think I need to uh, scale these in the Y and make them thicker so I can definitely get a little bit of an indentation so we see something all right let's give it a try boolean difference with those guys select them and hide them and that's what we have. I'm not going to bevel this, am I? Would it be better if I did? Would it work if I did? Okay, hang on. That's not what I want. I want to grab all the edge. All right, maybe we'll try. It's such a small detail, but if it might catch light. going to be the same. All right, let's give it a try. Control B. You can get a couple segments in there if you can. I mean, of course it would catch light if I can do it. Yeah. All right, fine. It'll catch a little bit of light. Good. All right. That's what it's looking like so far. And I'm trying to go kind of quickly too. All right, let's make the buttons on the side. Okay, so just rectangles, really beveled rectangles with some texture on them with circles, but cut in. Okay. So here's what we can do. We can select a part of it like that piece and go shift that. No, shift that cursor selected come out and then bring in a rect uh, a cube right there at that spot and uh, we'll just you know eyeball the this, the center position scaling the Y though and bring it up I don't need it quite there uh, scale in the Z you can get bigger okay we can sort of use uh, where, where is it three is that to use this arrow as a, as a center point roughly 
Um, let's scale this in the X, make it look a bit more like a button, although we are gonna push it in like that. Um, okay, so, um, how do I get the roundness? I don't think I wanna screw around with it once it's done. I might wanna make the hole with a beveled object. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go object, apply, rotation, scale, and I'm gonna do my usual vertical edges. And we're going to control B and give it some roundness and then Top one, control B, pull back, I'll give it two segments. Okay, like that. And uh, that's basically my button, right? And so, I just wanna scale it a little bit more. I'm gonna use this to cut. So, I'll do the top surface and then the bottom surface, Boolean difference with this guy and apply and this is high for a second and have a look okay I might be going into this surface we'll see uh, let's bring that back uh, let's get rid of that I don't need that anymore I don't need those circles aren't there okay so let's try the back side boolean difference with that Apply, hide, okay, there we go. Okay, that kind of thing. Okay, so Alt H, and now I'm just going to scale this, scale it in the Y a little bit, scale it in Z a little bit. Oh, this kind of thing. So it looks like, looks like there's a hole. Um, this because of the bevel that's already there. You know, I'm not sure it's worth doing that. Let's try that. I don't know if I can get the slightest bit. just want this part selected I guess I gotta do that for the other button as well eh? should have done it all at the same time really wasn't thinking ah yeah the sizes of these buttons are gonna be different and so what I'm going to do is I am purposely going to make them different sizes. If I try to make them the same size and they're off a little bit, it's going to look worse, I think, than if I purposely take this, bring it down here, scale it, you know, like that, so we have an obvious difference. I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it goes. Or is it the way it goes? Is it the way it goes? You know, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just gonna do it. Wait for that guy, apply, check, do this one. Boolean difference cube. That one should be fast because there's not much going on there. That, I don't know, delete that and maybe grab this button and bring it down. It's a bit awkward too to do that. And you know what? 
it's what technology looks like, right? With holes and doesn't, they don't always look exactly the same. All right, well, let's see if I can uh, bevel this edge then. I don't want that, just this part. And how about I do the other part too? No, I can't, what am I doing? That's another object, get rid of that. jumping oh you know what I think I've got to do apply scale again I don't know do I have something selected down at the bottom there Acting funny, and I don't know why. Excuse me, you uh, are this, this guy. Damn it. This is not. Is it catching it? Yeah, it is catching it. It didn't seem like it was, or it's beveling the surface, but it, uh, it's it's okay. It's not, it's not what I expected, and it's not really what I wanted, but. Seems like I'm mostly skimming the surface with those bevels. See that? See that? That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna do rotation and scale, and I'm gonna check my normals. Control N. All right, we'll go back in. Get this. Not you. Oh, jeez. Okay, we don't want that. We don't want that. No, not that. And we don't want that. Just this. I hope that's all. Maybe. Maybe. I want out of here as soon as possible. No, I'm not going to be able to do that one. So screw it. We're not going to see it anyhow. Not really. Uh, scale this in his head. Something's just a little bit weird. Doesn't matter, nothing's perfect. <coughs> All right, well, that's gonna be the buttons. Whether or not they need to come out a little bit or not, I don't know. That almost looks like it's too much. Okay, well, what I can do now, though, is I can put a little bit of texture on them. So I'll come here, and I'll grab, say, this face. Uh, and I'll go um, shift S, cursor selected. Okay, and bring in a little tiny circle. That's gonna start off as a big mother of a circle, but we're gonna make it tiny, sort of tiny. B and pull back and add a couple segments, a few segments, well maybe not that many, to make it a bit of a circle. I'm not going through and getting rid of the back faces, am I? No, I'm not. Let's do an array. Let's do this one. Just a little bit more. Let's see if we can get three and I'll scale them down. I'm going to have to copy this button for the bottom button too. Just, I tell you, I'm missing, missing, missing steps, losing my mind. Yeah, the, the, the tiredness is, uh, it's, it's, be, I'm beyond exhausted, beyond exhausted. Uh, oops, what did I do? Let's join those and have a look. There and there, and I think I guess it looks pretty good. 
And if it's off centered, I'm just not seeing it. So let's join that. And then let's get rid of this button and let's copy this down and hope it fits. It's a loose fit. There you go. Well, it looks all right. I mean, I hope it looks all right. It looks okay to me. Hope it looks okay to you. Oh boy. All right. Okay. I got this this little cut in there. I don't know exactly know why. I'm missing something. I'm missing the red, the red one of, of the perspective. Anyways, we can do some stuff on the back. Let's do that. Let's just shift S, cursor selected. Shift A, let's get a circle going. Uh, rotate X90, scale her down. Not too small though. I want to make indentations for where the bullets would go for this one. Um, let's see, one is the front, right? So control one is going to be the exact back. Let's try that. Go in, F to give it a face, E to extrude. Now for this one, let me grab all the polys and do that. Um, for this one, I'm going to bevel it like that, but I'm gonna flip it. Uh, so I'm gonna go around the Z, rotate the Z 180. So I got the uh, roundness there. And then stick that in nicely. And um, I'm gonna, I like it nice and, and large. Uh, we're gonna try a mirror, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna try a mirror. So let's mirror in the X, using this and in the Z and apply and maybe I have to adjust this a little bit I'm just gonna accept that so they're all digging in so let's do a boolean now all right very nice and I get my indents um, I can't remember if I if I went in and tried to do this. Oh, did I miss a piece there? No, not. I mean, it'd be nice if it worked. Not that we're ever gonna see the back of this, but we might. Did I get that video on my little shot? No. All right, let's give it a try. Control B. No, I don't like that. What have I done here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't select this right. I got to select. Is everything else selected? Let's try again. That's much better. Two. Um, although we'll just have a look at it. No, it's not worth doing. Okay, it's it's messing up, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I am going to uh, unhide those, and um, let's see if I can uh, rotate Z 180. Okay, I'll move them out of there. Let's bring them to there. And back. Take these and join them to the back and let's take these and join them also to the back. OK, 
Okay. Uh, and just keep stuff going. All right. One a.m. Still going. Of course. Of course, we're still going. Rotate X90. Yes, rotate X90. Scale look in general. Scale in general. Um. I'm rounding everything. Of course I am. Of course I'm rounding everything. That. This one. Oh, it's jumping. I don't know why. I didn't do that before. I'll do two. I don't need to do that one. Um. what I want to be doing. Mm. Yeah, I don't want the round part so much because I'm getting in there. Or do I not care? Maybe I don't care. No, I do. That's awkward. I might change the size of this after anyhow. Let's give this a try. Um, yeah, that's too thick. Hang on, uh, scale in the Y. I just want a really thin plate, and so I want a really small indentation here. Let's give it a try. So that will be my indentation. Bring this back. Well, this is not going to be the way to do it. But the way to do it is to actually go in um, in wireframe mode and do it like this. Actually, pull the thing. That's all right. Makes me wonder if I should be cutting off that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Sorry. Uh, Cursor selected, and I'm going to bring in a, a, a cube because I'm going to use this to cut a little tab like thing that you would use to open this just a small, small distance in. And really, I should bevel these because it will look better, even minimally. So just grab, yeah, let's make it a bit deeper. Uh, grab grab this boolean difference with the cube and hide that so we'll get the little bit of roundness there um, Okay. Well, that's 
my battery compartment at this point. Okay. Well, it's coming along. Do I want to do that little cut? Where is it? It's just under the buttons there, right? And it's in which piece? This piece is in the front piece. It's in the front piece on the inner side. Okay, so let's just see what I did. Let's just bring in a cube. In something. I don't know why. I think I'm overtired. To, yeah, I'm sometimes uh, rounding parts and sometimes I'm not. Um, usually I like to do it, but it's not always feasible. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Set. All right. I think what I'll do though is I'm gonna take a take a short break for a second. See if the dogs need to go out. Well, actually, I do have a couple of other pieces. Don't I? I've got like a microphone up there. Maybe I can uh, quickly do that. Okay. There's nothing special at all about this. This guy will just go like uh, I need extrude, bring it down, and scale. We'll uh, instead again uh, scale shift Z. No, not just shift Z. Scale shift Z, and then I'll bring it up a little bit, just like that. Edges, that one, that one, and that one. Control B, we'll get a little with a couple of segments. And I think I need to scale this in the Z. Let's bring it down like that. Of course, can smooth this and stuff. I won't worry about that right now. Let's bring it down to the surface. Okay, so it would be something like that there. Um, we can make this a bit bigger and use it to cut into this piece. And then scale 
this down a little bit. So it looks okay. Let's hide this and see if I can bevel this. Yeah. On to Alt H to unhide that. Let's see if there's anything else showing up. Yeah, there's that thing showing up. Unhiding. Okay, that looks fine. Except that edge looks a little bit sharp there. Uh, a lot of polys in this. I don't know. I'm just going to see if I can grab and then let's see if that did anything. No, it didn't do anything good, but. No, that's not what I want. I want that one smoothed. Yeah, just like that, just laying there. Get the little microphone. Cool. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back. Maybe with more coffee. Okay, back for more. All right, yeah, it's looking pretty cool actually. So let's, um, what the hell is that? Oh, that's a dot in there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring in a circle. I'm just get a sense for those reels in there. Um, rotate X90, bring it out. So they're gonna fit in there, eh? Yeah, it's more like a video player than a than an audio player. I would say. Okay, that's good enough for the time being. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how I do this. Uh, let's move this to another layer. Let's have a look at this. All right, so here's what we do for this. I'm going to go in and um, I'm going to hit extrude and scale it in. Hit extrude, scale it in again. Hit extrude and scale it in one more time like that. Okay. Stay in that. Let's go to face select mode. There's a center. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and find the horizontal one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna select all those faces. Alright, and I'm going to delete them. Delete those faces. I'm gonna select it all. I'm gonna extrude a little bit. That. Select all the polys, so control N, make sure my normals are facing the right way. Get closer, edge select, grab the outer edges and all these edges here. On this top surface, I'll call this the top surface. That one and that one. Make sure, hopefully, I don't miss anything. Come on to the back and select all these faces. Edges, sorry, edges. Okay, let's bevel it. Control B, pull back. One, two segments. Okay, like that. And really, I gave a sub subdivision surface on this. It's well, in order to do my indents, I'm going to need it. So, all right, I'm blowing a lot of polys. Let's just do it. In and let's grab um, this one and this one's so got three there, three there. Uh, one, two, three, this one and this one, three and three. Let's do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three and three. 
one, two, three, and three, right? Okay, let's make sure, I just wanna make absolutely sure I'm reading point. Read extrude, and I'm going to um, scale in the Y and pull it in. Scale in the Y, pull it in like that. Just to give a little faint indentation there. Okay, I'm gonna scale this whole thing in the Y just a little bit more, a little thinner. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna take this, Shift D, I'm make another copy of it there. Okay, and uh, let's select one of these. Cursor selected, and let's bring in another circle. And uh, rotate X90. Scale it down in there. Where'd you go? There you are, okay. Um, let's fill it. We extrude. Pull down that way. Make sure all the normals are facing the right way. Let's position this in there. And we'll scale it, uh, scale shift Y. Just to make it smaller so you can see it through here. And uh, I guess I'll put a subdivision surface on that as well. And some edge loops to tighten her up. Just like that, that's good enough. Okay, and um, I'll copy this, Shift D, bring it up and scale it. Pull it down the middle again. Oh, we'll put a little bit of detail, we just won't go too nuts because it's, it's getting late at night. And you get the idea. I might not need one on the other side. Um, let's turn off that for a second. Okay, let's grab the face. And I don't know what I want to do. Inset, I guess. Let's inset it like that. And uh, let's extrude it down. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's inset it again. Let's just bring it out. It's the same old stuff all the time, pretty much. Okay. Um, Let's in uh, edge mode. Grab that one, that one, and that one. Control V. Pull back. No, it doesn't look like it's taking it very well. So let's do uh, apply rotation and scale. And See if it takes it a bit better now. Okay. Okay. Let's add my subdivision surface again. And uh, I don't remember what I did before. Oh, why did I trim in there? Edge loop, whatever. Oh, it's such a small detail. It's going to be viewed so far away. Where did I put that little pattern? I guess, I, th I think on the inside, I think I hit uh, I twice, whoa, like that, and I think I hit uh, extrude individual, but I pushed up to pull them down, okay, if I go downwards, they come out, if I go upwards, they go in, so like a little flower, this just looks kind of nice, and something like that. All right, um, okay, let's uh, join these two things together. I should be able to do that. And um, really, I should 
Well, let's 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 bring this uh, in. Okay, yeah. Let's join the bottom, the top, and the bottom, but not the 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 tape yet. Let's just grab it, all that. Grab everything. Move it back to the first layer. bring it all in and I'm gonna rotate it in the Y rotate Y it's like that so that the reels are in slightly different positions and this little middle piece I'll make one you know, di different size right so now I'm gonna join these that one and that one join very nice okay cool uh, now, how, let's hide this. Oh, interesting. Uh, I can get rid of those, right? Let me make sure nothing is, Alt H, nothing comes back. No cutting tools. Very nice. They look too close together to me when I do that, but um, I am going to select one. I just, it's a placeholder. A, bring in a plane, and rotate X90, pull you out, look in the front view, and I might go into wireframe, scale it in the X, um, so this cassette is bigger than the, than the doorway, okay, so it's going to be like that. Hopefully I have enough room for that. Uh, just like, like that. Let me see if I, uh, if I take the whole thing and I just put it in there like as if it was there. Does that make sense? Uh, the doorway cut it. No. I've got to make it smaller, I think, in order to fit right. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's probably okay. I can make it smaller later. Okay, so let's take this and extrude like that. Grab it, flip the, the normals. Object, apply, rotation, scale, and now let's grab the edges. But not that one yet. The vertical edges. Control B, round it out. Um, yeah, I gotta make sure that this is bigger than the reels, which it is. Okay, that's all right. This is my cassette, and um, what I'll do is, I think this is what I'll do, is I'll do the top. Like that. And can I use, let me move this to another layer. And use the bisect tool again. Select it all, bisect. No, wait a second. I think I want to be looking like this. Bisect. Scale X zero. I think this is what I want to be doing. And then inset this. Just a little bit. Need extrude. Push it in. And this is basically what my cassette would look like. Let's, let's try messing with that. I think I made a hole in here. Actually, I did make a hole in there. I just 
inset it like this, pushed it in. Um, you know, as a space for the sets to go in. I'm not super crazy about that. as they say so kind of like that let's see what I need to do how far down can you go before we hit rock bottom am I pulling you the right way no I'm not that's the problem let's uh, unhide the door Let's see if the cassette is down. Of course it is, but hide you again. Okay, so let's take the cassettes. I'm calling the cassettes the reels. I'll bring that door back. Okay. Might as well tilt the door now. Just, and then I'll hide it. So I'm gonna grab, uh, yeah, that's fine, that poly. I just need a general reference spot. Come out, I'm gonna switch over to 3D cursor. And I'm gonna rotate from there. Um, along, around the Z, I guess, rotate Z. If I swing it like that. I now have my cassette there. I want to hide this now. I think I need to scale this in the X. So we see a little bit of that there. And then I'll put something there. So okay, let's move this back over to here. Yeah, that's all right. Um, Sect. No. Yes. Um, scale Z zero. Ah. Maybe maybe got an issue with this. Scale X zero. Oh no 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 no. That's not what we're doing. We're just taking. This edge, scale X zero. And what I want to do is I want to join, uh, boy, that vertex to that, make a face there. And then I want it. Um, 
think I'm going to do another inset. Now, once again, if I really had my wits about me, I'd do both the insets, this one and that one at the same time. So they'd be the same. But it's, again, it's so such a small detail. Another small detail is, you know, do I want to take this and try to bevel it? And risk problems here. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Let's keep saving. Okay, let's move this back. We're getting there. So, is that looking right? Did I not inset this? Why are you looking funny to me? Okay, well, another thing is it's it's too long. So let's scale you in the Z and see if I can get a little bit of that border that looks better. Let's also take this and move it to about there. And this one. Starting to look better. Just don't understand this. Did we not just go through this? Did I hit Control Z or something? Uh, which way is going to bring it in? There we go. Just a little bit so that they, you know, don't look like they're, you know, pushing into a solid material. All right. How would you get that cassette in there, eh? Is that what you're wondering? I'm just curious to know if I scaled everything down, would it look more realistic? Nah, I don't like it as much, actually. It just goes in, put it in, don't you know? Something in there, shifty, cursor selected. Let's bring in a circle again. Rotate X90, nice and small, like that. F. Extrude, like that. So that piece just connects there. <clears throat> wow, we are quite far ahead. Just looking at the size of that circle. that top secret let's put it right there shift s cursor selected shift a text rotate x90 and rotate y90 in the minus center that scale it down and zoom in 
Let's go back to this font. Top secret. Okay, looks good. Give some depth, some resolution. Extrude a bit. Um, let's get a bit of space, maybe. You know, something like that. Something like that is fine. Alt C, let's convert that to a mesh and join it. And move this back to the first layer. There you go. Let's see that, top secret. Okay, and at this point, um, the only other things, I mean, I made a little panel in here. Um, uh, there is something showing up, I figured there'd be something. You know, and little input jack over there, but really, that shows you pretty much how I would go about uh, making this thing um, without the need to, to get into a ton more detail. Um, oh, why is that? It's coming in small. Let's set that up to 100. Um, you know, so that that's a potential render. Um, one thing is smoothing. Um, because of all the booleans, uh, it doesn't smooth that well. And sometimes I can solve that with, uh, I'll try 12 here. Okay, it's not, it's not super smooth, but I mean, it's, it's good enough for, you know, what I'm trying to do. Um, and taking, taking a nice, you know, reasonable OpenGL render. Um, I could try with another couple of materials. Um, uh, those shiny ones often will show uh, this the smoothing errors uh, more. And so here I'll show you one thing that I sometimes do. All right, I usually make a copy of it first. Just select. See this stuff here. Okay. Go back into face mode. Select all those faces of the very top that they're being bent weirdly. Eat, extrude, accept. That's it. Now it changes the reflection a little bit, but it looks just fine. All right. Don't tell on me that I do stuff like that. I'm sure it's not not good practice, but. This one, I, I would have a, a great deal of trouble doing that because of all the holes. Um, and it's getting some of those middle pieces as well. I could try just that. Oops, not that. Coming out. It's not too bad, all right? Depending on where you take your render from. I do want that a bit smoothed. If I if I get rid of uh, if I make this a lower angle, like uh, you know, eight, sometimes it fixes that up. But when I don't get any smoothing ability at all, just if I try it, let's just see if it messes it up. Right. It doesn't look too too bad for the holes. And now it looks pretty nice. No one's going to know the difference unless you tell them. Right? You come in here, you find your spot, you make your render. You know?